Hi, this is Brandon Spilly from ThirstGym.com. Today we're talking about an exercise called the Dumbbell Bench Press with Twist. This is a great hypertrophy option on the good old classic Dumbbell Bench Press, which we've talked about in the past. What I really like about this is it's really good for more of your bodybuilding hypertrophy. I wouldn't say you're going to see in a whole lot of performance programs. Um, you know, maybe you're trying to put some weight on a kid or an athlete and you're trying to mix things up. Uh, but usually it's something I kind of program for personal training or uh, strength sport athletes. What I really like about it is it, it humbles people by knocking down the weight that they're going to use on their traditional dumbbell bench press. You've likely seen bodybuilders do this exercise. I mean, you know, they don't have a whole lot of rhyme and reason, but I really like the contraction that you can get in the pecs from it, which I think lends it to something that a standard dumbbell bench press can sometimes miss out on. You, know, you can feel your pecs a decent amount, but with this option, I think you're going to feel them a lot more. So give this a try in your training programs if you're looking to spice up your bench press. So flat bench, uh, dumbbells, regular standard setup as a regular dumbbell bench press. We're just going to show you the little tweak and difference that we got. So we're going to be sitting down here, uh, dumbbells on our legs, we're going to rock back, dumbbells up. All right, so this is our start position. We're going to come down. As I come down, this is normal, okay, so we're coming down normal. We're going to press up, pinkies in, here, up, oh, here. So I want to really try to get my pinkies to come together, and they're going to kind of come up towards my head. Okay, so the dumb, the the pinky side of the dumbbell is coming towards my forehead more so than coming down towards my feet. You see the difference? This is towards my feet, and that's towards my head. And I can feel a good squeeze on every rep there. So it's really simple. As long as you don't have dumbbell bench press, you're just going to, at the top, bring those pinkies together. Okay, we're going to supernate. We're going to externally rotate the humerus, and then we're going to um, adduct the uh, humerus as well. And that's going to give us, the adduction part is what's going to give us that good pec squeeze, but we're going to keep the shoulder good and safe rather than trying to press like this because you're not really going to be able to press like that. Um, it, just won't, it just won't work. So when you program these um, three to four sets, keep your rep ranges on a little bit higher than you probably would with a normal dumbbell bench press. I think eight to 12 is probably the sweet spot. Starting to 15, um, it starts to really become a struggle. Uh, you know, you gotta really have the endurance qualities, I guess. So maybe you want to put it as a finisher, but I think the eight to 12 rep range is great. Six is almost too light. You're not gonna, you're gonna be sacrificing weight over the squeeze. Where eight to 12, you're gonna really start to feel that's gonna be a good quality weight to let you feel the contraction that you want, um, but also load it up as well if you if you so desire. Um, like I said, three to four sets is all you're going to need there. Uh, if you really want to mix it up, slight incline or decline on your bench can make a big game changer, um, especially the decline option. So if you want to look at that, that's one way to spice up this exercise as well. If you got any questions, feel free in the comment section. Thanks. Have a great day.